I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Yeah. Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Good smooth work by Hound Dog. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. And a flush hook lands by Miguel Cotto. Teddy, what do you think of Cotto tonight? Well, about the right. same as I would think if I'm going to go into a barber shop. I mean, I know what to expect. I'm going to get my hair cut. Well, if you're fighting Cotto, you're going to get your body hit. That's a good block by Hound Dog. Going up against Cotto tonight is an opponent who absolutely can bring the power. Yeah, but world champions are not made of just power punches. Cotto wants to show that he can do more than just punch. Cotto's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Halfway through round number one. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Miguel Cotto. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Cotto's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. A good counter punch by Hound Dog. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Miguel Cotto. Unable to land clean by Hound Dog. Nice work. Nice work. He can't have any speech until the last one. Keep it up. You got any more of these? I'll do you one. Hold it. Here we go, round two is underway. Well placed shot, came after a nice defensive move there. Good block. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Wow, look at that, trading shots. Cotto, obviously a Puerto Rican native, but he has made Madison Square Garden in New York his home away from home. Yes, a lot of Latino fans, a lot of Puerto Rican fans in that area, and they have been braced him. Huge uppercut from Cotto. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Miguel Cotto. <laughs> Blocks that belt line well. Good block there by Hound Dog. Up top with the right hand. 
Final 10 seconds of round number two. Watch that. To the head he goes with a left hand. You want this fight? Listen to me. You want this fight? You gotta stay busy out there. You're losing this fight because you're not throwing any punches out there. Listen. Hound Dog's back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. Cotto's right hand scores well that time. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. A well-placed left hand up top. That was a fine block by Hound Dog. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good block. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Flipping him with that uppercut. Big shot by Hound Dog. I want to see some combo. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Miguel Cotto. Hound Dog's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just a faster, quicker fighter, and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent. Oh, he has that physical asset, no doubt about it. You can see it. But he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And that's the end of round three. Side to side. Lead to the side, then boom! Counter punch. Hound Dogs enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Good job on the two-punch combo by Hound Dog. putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Keep doing what you're doing. What about with Miguel Cotto that he gives his opponents the sense that he's not going anywhere at all? Because he wants time. He's a guy that loves time because it serves him to his real forte, going to the body. And when you go to the body, it's like putting money in the bank. You want time to get interest. Oh, what a whiff by Miguel Cotto. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Hound Dog's coming up big here early on in the fight because he chose. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Some fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. And this round comes to an end. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Miguel Cotto's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. 
But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Not able to land the headshot. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Miguel Cotto's finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. Solid right hand by Hound Dog. Still no defense out of him. Still no ability to stop this onslaught. He's taking serious damage. And you got to worry about his future because the damage he's taking right now for tonight, okay, we understand that, but how is this going to impact him for the future? That's where you're starting to get into a danger zone right now. Scored well with the hook after blocking that shot. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Miguel Cotto. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. And that's the end of round five. You can have the best game plan in the world, but when your eye shuts closed like that, everything changes. But one thing doesn't change, Joe, and that's the mentality of a warrior. You find a way. You do not give in, you find a way, you concentrate harder, and you see with that one eye what you need to see. You're losing this fight. I need you to take some chances. The start of the sixth round. Shake it up. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. cotto has got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He missed with that headshot. Turn. Turn. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. <laughs> Nowhere close that punch by Hound Dog. Shot returning fire. Well done by Hound Dog. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Back to the body. Back to the body. That was not well targeted by Hound Dog. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Hound Dog's in the midst of this fight, boxing very, very well. Teddy. What does he have to do to maintain this kind of level? You know, I hate to use these old analogies, these overused analogies, but if it's not flow, don't fix it. Well, that's yet another round that he won, and Teddy, he's in great shape. Not what what right. were you hearing out of his You're training camp as to he's how he got eating. so conditioned? Well, we were hearing that he was doing his low work, wearing knapsacks with 20 pounds of sand in them, running uphill. I mean, that's one of them. Also, instead of taking minute rest and sparring, he was taking 20 seconds, 30 second rest. It's showing right now. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. 
¡Vamos, la liga, la liga! Miguel Cotto's hit by a counter punch there. Cotto's punch is far off the target. Good work. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Cotto's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Halfway through the seventh round. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Cotto's got to be really careful here. That eye is an absolute mess. The cut is really bad. In fact, it could call for an end to this fight at any point. Well, Joe, the key is where the cut is. It's above the eye, and that means that the flow will go into the eye and, of course, impair the vision. That is what the referee is going to be looking at. He just missed that shot up top. Combo lands upstairs. Toto's inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costing him. He continues to pull straight back, and he's still in the path of the punch. Hound Dog's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And the round comes to an end. Had in that round. We're in control. Next round, let's keep busy. You gotta watch the water. That head move. So round eight is underway. Hound Dog's enjoying a commanding lead on your scorecard, Teddy. You gotta think that that would work for him because he has now strung together so many consecutive rounds where he's been dominating. Yeah, it's methodical. It's been a real workmanlike effort. <laughs> And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Cotto's punch didn't come close. The beating has ended. That is enough unanswered punches. The ref stops it. It's a TKO victory. You got to defend yourself. And he was taking a bad, bad beating. This fight is done.